hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> I'm Peter Fury and uh, don't forget to subscribe to Porky's Corner because I've been a helmet of the month and you need to listen to me. <laughs> yeah? So follow him, yeah? And get the fella some followers up for Christ's sake. He wears his hat on his sleeve, the good man was. So follow Porky's Corner, he says it as it is and uh, you know, I appreciate the helmet of the month for us. No problem. Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here and still the voice of hardcore boxing fans yeah that's right so get used to it because we're not going anywhere now in fact we're here for a very long time now after the meeting I've just had today in here Hatfield Chase pub so I've had to just come out here and just get back to work my pals are in there celebrating and there's no people that are on board and I've just had to come out here just to get my head around a few things I think hard work's gonna get it get us over the line with what we're trying to achieve here. So what better way to start than well it's uh it's the first of March, so you know what time it is, don't you? <laughs> oh yeah, it's that time of month. It is helmets of the month. <laughs> Hey, helmets of the month. No messing about. Nobody is safe. Peter Fury, Dennis Hobson, Carl Froch. People I respect. Pals of mine. They've all been in helmets. Whether you're a pal or not. If you get the votes, you're going in it. All right? And pretty soon, pretty much soon, people are going to be asking me, Porky, why aren't I in helmets? That's how popular helmets is at the moment. So let's do the big countdown. In at number 15. The beach is that way. Flex. Flex has been in it before and he has been weapon of the week chosen by me. And I'd have him in top three every month, but Flex has had a quiet month. Aren't you Flex? So, I hadn't even seen him down at Dawn's sewing rooms in Mexborough, you know, dropping his piles of t-shirts off from all his 20 sponsors. I hadn't even seen him down there, you know, getting arm bit on t-shirt tucked in. Do you know what I mean? Because what he does, he takes arm bit in, then goes and does some preacher kills, then does an interview, telling us all that Kid Galahad doesn't stink arenas out. So, Dominic Ingle, in at number 15, Helmet of the Month, pound for pound on Porky's Corner. Well done, Flex. In at number 14, and he should be higher, Coogie Bear. Coogan Cassius, number 14. What can you say about Coogan that's not already been said? Since the Fury fight, he has been all over the place, but yet he's not been to an amateur show. He's not been and put his grafters to graft at any shows that are small hall. Why is that? Why is he into why has he got people interviewing John Fury and not people like Josh Whale? Why is that? Why why is that? John Fury does half a million views after a week. Josh Josh Whale does probably fifteen hundred views after a week. That's why it's about money. Don't tell me you love the game when you're just hanging out at back of people because they do views. All of them, they're treating it like a business. Yeah, I get that, but there's got to be a balance. It's no good being a fantastic interviewer, and let's have it right, Coogan is probably top four in world boxing at interviewing. He's very good how he draws it out, people. Very talented, very patient kid. Really smart kid, he is. Me and Dennis have had loads of chats about this, but why isn't he just asking proper questions and sharing out all this access he's got? For example, one of the questions he could ask Eddie Earn could be, Eddie, uh, why is it Matchroom have never had a world champion, a male world champion from debut that's not been involved with Robert McCracken? Why is that? 
I'm, I'm talking about the GB setup up there. Match I've never had a world champion from debut that has not come from up there. And but that's been born in Britain. Yeah, they had ABI, didn't they? But ABI were born in Nigeria. Let's have it right. And if Dillian White wins the world title and is more than capable, he's born in Jamaica and he weren't with Eddie from his debut. So the answer is zero. There is nobody who's won a world title from debut with with uh, Eddie Slick Hearn. We don't call him Eduardo no more. His name is Slick. All right. Anybody who texts us anything now, WhatsApp, emails, whatever, refer to him as Slick. All right. So Slick has had zero world champions from debut that have not been McCracken influenced. We're talking about Slick getting involved in boxing, what, it back in 2010? So he's had 10 years, yeah? He's had the pick of 2012 Olympians, the London Olympians. He's had the pick of the Rio Olympians. And he's going to have the pick of this Olympics. 12, 16 and 20 from a lottery-funded EIS where McCracken is the main man up there and they've got all the little perks for Matchroom. That's why I've got a problem, all right, because I like fair play. If I've got a problem with somebody, I'll go meet them on my own. I don't want them getting other people getting involved and vice versa. We're going to tell it straight. We want fair play. I like fair play, me. Fair play. If you don't get fair play, then you can get other people involved. But if it's not, but if it's fair play and you get beat, you get beat, don't you? But if it ain't fair play and people get other people involved, well, well, well then we can all play them games, can't we? But let's see some fair play, all right? Let's see fair play. We don't want Frank Warren, Mick Hennessy, and who knows, maybe other promoters getting what's left, the leftovers. Well, well, what's all that about? Yeah, they can have the leftovers, what he don't want. Well, what? Imagine if that went on in NFL, baseball or basketball in America. There'd be an outcry. So why have we got it in England? Why are all the Team GB, Callum Smith, Charlie Edwards and the Olympians, Joshua Yafai, Katie Taylor, why are they all going to matchroom? It's not fair. It's not a level playing field. EIS are giving them the fighters. Sky and Dazone, either side of the pond, they're giving them the sole promotion rights. And Coogan and Coogan Cassius, Rob Tebber and Michelle Phelps, they're nipping it all in, nipping it all in the bud, aren't they? From one side of the pond to other, they're going back and forward, doing exclusives, but they're not doing anything with novice fighters, are they? Or kids turning over, it's wrong. It's fundamentally wrong. Okay? Seven minutes. So we've just done Coogie Bear in at number 14. In at number 13, Steve Wood. Steve Wood, you've had loads of votes, you're an helmet, so that's that. Running around laughing, thinking it's funny because the kid that Josh Warrington beat, the French kid, well, he changed his mind on contract with fighting Josh Whale. If that guy had fought Josh, then we could have been shouting at Warrington fight out, couldn't we? But he agreed a purse, £13,500, come back and ask for 20 grand. That to me, after you've agreed money, is a liberty. So all them people asking stupid questions, well, that would have been on free sports, but the kid that Josh Whale fought, that's not going to go on free sports. They've got quality control, aren't they, free sports? Unlike Sky. So that's that. So people like Jim McDonald on your fake account, that's not Jim McDonald, or that guy called The Truth, they're just people in the boxing industry, industry who want to have a pop. And we know who you are now, alright? So that's why, whenever you leave anything on Porky's Corner, I have Carly just erase you. So, if you put, start putting crap on there, personal stuff, you will be erased. Or, my advice is this. Come to the March 27th show, if anybody's got a problem with what we're doing with boxing and TV, approach Dennis Hobson, and ask Den and t t tell Dennis to his face what you're texting me. All right, because you know what will happen, don't you? All right. So, Steve Wood, number 13, you helmet. You've been voted Steve, so you're in. Unlucky. Number 12. <laughs> <laughs> Steffi Bull, you're number 12. I won't even have you in because you're not even worth talking about, but. 
people keep sending me saying, oh, Steffi Wall's got to be helmet at Mum Fanny. I don't know what he's done that's helmet worth. Hel I don't know what he's done that's helmet ness worth this month, but I don't know. Probably running lo loads of fake accounts, that's what he's done. I did see some screenshots that people were sending me where they were going on about certain things about the, the Caroline Flack thing, God rest her soul, and how trolls need to be vetted and all this and that. Well, what about the, the tweets that you put out, Steffi Ball, some, a while ago, didn't somebody save them? So I think you got caught out there because I noticed what I was sent that you didn't reply when you got caught out. So Steffi Ball, well busted, abusing people on social media. You should be ashamed, but well done what you've done with Terry Harper. You've done brilliant. So, but if you're in it, Steffi, you're in it. But if you've got a problem, come see me. Don't give other people bullets to fire. Come see me, all right? Come see me if you've got a problem, Steffi. Number 11, Rob Tebbert. You're in there because, like Coogan, you don't ask the real questions, do they? All you do is hang out the back of people, all right? You hang out the back of people. You got a problem, Rob? Come see me. I've got your number here. Ring me, you've got my number on WhatsApp. So, in at number 10, ho, 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 Gareth A. Davis is still wiping Tyson Fury's shit off his teeth after all them exclusives he got with him. Hanging out of the back of him. You should be embarrassed, Gareth Davis. You should be embarrassed. Comparing Tyson Fury to Muhammad Ali. No, 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 no. Cunningham a cruiserweight, Vladimir over ill, while they're technically awful. There is three world champion wins that Tyson Fury's got. Ali's got 16 in an era where they were one champion. But he's on the road to greatness, but he's not there yet. But he's the number one at the moment. But it's a poor era, isn't it? If Tyson Fury's head and shoulders above everybody else after three wins and two world title wins, but three wins over champions. If that's the best of the era, after that, it's a poor era, isn't it? So, in at number nine, Umar IFL, Umar. <laughs> I actually heard, right, what groveling little rat you are, Umar. I actually heard what you actually said before you went to speak to John Fury. Now, that to me looks like John Fury just wants to get out there on IFL and he's not bothered what you said about his son and you, you groveling little fucking whatever you are, and you know what you are, groveler. So, and you already had loads of votes anyway, but I'd have had you in this month, Omar, or IFL Omar. But what a groveling little fucking little rat you are groveling like that groveler hey eh? why not just say yeah i said that and when somebody comes up to me and says have you said this i'll either say yeah or no if i've not said it i'll not say it if i've said it i'll say yeah so so uh Two seconds. Two seconds. Right, uh, so Umar IFL, you're in there with all them votes, Umar, and I had a vote for you as well. You groveling little... <laughs> See, this is it in boxing, right? People, they can say all that, and then they've got the brass neck to go and grovel. Oh, so Umar, you do ask good questions, but you're a little groveler, aren't you? So grovel on, hanging out at the back of John Fury. You should be ashamed. In at number eight... 
Big Dossa Femi! Ah, ha, ha. Big Dossa Femi, you Big Dossa. Hey, You Big Dossa. Don't know what you've done this month. Who cares? But you've had loads of votes. Big Dossa Femi. So, number eight, Anthony Joshua. Number seven, Dillian White. Now, the main thing that people have voted for you for, because when you send the vote into my email, porkycorner at mail.com, people put, this is why I want him in there. Dillian White, you have had loads of votes for the simple reason. You're going on about your will title shot and this and that, and you would have done Wilder just like Fury did. Listen, you were 19 stone plus, weren't you, for your last fight, Dillian? 19 stone plus. What were you, 272? What's that, 19 stone? You're 8 pound off 20 stone, so God knows what you were in the ring after you'd watered up and that, look. You knocked Ortiz back twice, Dillian. You was involved in the purse bid for Pulef, which Eddie Hearn lost. He's only ever won seven purse bids in 34 years, sorry, match room have. So, Eddie Hearn, so, Dillian White, you, you, you didn't fight Pulef, you knocked Ortiz back twice. And who's the other one? Anthony Joshua knocked a world title rematch with Anthony Joshua back at Wembley Stadium for all four belts, like you do. So, Gillian White, you deserve to be at Elmer at month number seven. So, but you've got a fantastic kill left up. I like your trainer, but I've got to tell it as it is. Number six, Frank Smith at Matchroom for doing all them interviews and trying to drown out everybody else's what they're doing. You should be ashamed as well, Frank Smith. So, these are front fans. Fans are voting for you. I do their weapons of the week on my own. Ten minutes. So, many so I, I do uh, weapon of the week on my own, but Frank Smith, you're a helmet of the month. Uh, number six, Frank Smith. Number five, and you should win it every month, Eddie Hearn. Well, same again, isn't it, with... Frank Smith just trying to drown everybody out and begging for the Fury fight, Eddie Hearn. Begging, you know why? Pulef, Bob Arum's not letting you have a rematch clause, is he? Anybody who lets somebody have a rematch clause, right? When they're when they're a strong favourite, why would why would you give him a re rematch? Why would you have a rematch clause? Vladimir had one with Tyson, it were a mandatory. Pulef's promoter's not going to let them have it. They're either going to take step aside money, or they're just going to fight Joshua and roll his dice. But Joshua should mow down Paul F. Paul F's 39 year old before they fight, so he's into his 40th year when he fights Joshua. Joshua should be ashamed to mind all that mandatory stuff. Just give him a bit of step aside. And pay Wilder to step aside and get it on with Big Fury. And Fury White might not be so keen to fight Wilder because even though he'll, he, he beats out, boxes him, there's that slight chance that he could get his lights put out because Wilder's coming in light for the next one, so I really don't great, man. So. But it is what it is, isn't it? Poole F and Wilder can upset the apple can. That's what happens in boxing. Look at Andy Ruiz. You've only got to look at that. And Eddie Hearn won't want to repeat it with that, will he? We know safety net. Ho, 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 eh? So Eddie Hearn, number five. Helmet of the month, pound for pound on Porky's Corner. Number four, David Costcutter. Hey, a.k.a. The Whore. W-H-O-R-E. her hot rutter Whore. David A. Is it BT Sport? Fury's the best. Is it Sky? Joshua is the best. I mean, what what is he going to do that night then? He's just going to sit on the fence with splinters up his backside like Coogie Bear. Eh? Hey? So, I don't know, but it's interesting, isn't it? But do you know what I'm worried about this month? I'm worried about that David A might end up coming back. I'm worried about that, you know, because that's, that's the weaponness of him. You know, he'll be thinking, do you know what? I've still got it. I could have been a runner bean, should have been, or whatever. I could have been, I could have been. You know, could have, would have, should have. But David A, pound for pound, Porky's Corner, number four. Number three. Bean! 
Runner bean, could have been, should have been, never been. Baked bean, creepy bean, jelly bean. Baked beans on toast. Jacket take you with beans. Beanie, you're there again, aren't you? For your general creepiness. Do you know what? Bean. I'd have had your number one. I had your winning weapon bit weapon, but you had to you had to do it, didn't you, Bean? You had to go out to Vegas and try and steal the thunder. Putting yourself about like a whore. Adam Smith going out to Vegas shows me that they're shit in the pants with this pool left fight. So that fight might just not happen, you know. It's not been announced, has it? Might not happen, but they're going to look at it as money left on the table, aren't they? Because Pulev sold out, didn't he? In Cardiff. But would he now? I'm not so sure that Joshua is as popular as he, popular as he makes out. They'd have to comp about 30,000 tickets, wouldn't they? I think he's got a good following of 25,000. The rest are just going for... It's an event. It's an event. It's a night out. It's an event. So... They're not all there for Joshua effect, they're there because it's an event. And they're all there to see Dave Allen as well, you know. 2,000 selfies a night. So, when he could be resting and training, well, you might as well do selfies, aren't you, till 2am? Why train and rest if you're a boxer, when you can just, just do selfies all day and night? That's the way forward. Not that I'm saying Dave Allen's uh, overdone his, his PR. No, 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 no. He must be doing something right. He owns more houses than me. Now, we get down to the nitty gritty. Mr. Bean's just won a bronze medal for Elmer's at month for February 2020. Who's in the silver position? The podium position. The Ballon d'Or helmet of the month. The, the, the Ballon d'Or of the helmet of the month award. The silver ball. The silver helmet goes to... Big John Fury. Now, how many people are going to have the knackers to put John Fury as helmet of the month, silver? Or me. I've got his phone number here. So, well, Peter Fury's been in, hasn't he? And John Fury's had the votes. I mean, did anybody see that interview that he did with Umar, IFL Umar? He was talking about healing the world. What were all that, all that about? And... I mean, I ain't got no against anybody coming out with, with Bible stuff or anything like that. There's not wrong with what people believe in, but some of the things they were coming out with were, were shocking. Shocking. Really, really shocked me. And asking for half a billion, 250 million for Tyson to fight Joshua. I mean, since when has John Fury all of a sudden been a manager, advisor? I don't know, but everybody's going to want as much as they can for their kids, but... <laughs> 250 million quid so I don't know but I know this much it's a great fight isn't it and Tyson's the best heavyweight out there at the moment and he should get maybe 51% against 49 Joshua but you've got to let him do it it's a 50-50 innit Joshua's got 4 belts Fury's got 2 with ring belt Joshua's got 4 with IBO belt hasn't he so I count that as a world title, me. But 250 million, a lot of money in it. So it's helmet behaviour. John Fury, you ended up voted silver medal winner for helmets at month February 2020. Hope you well, John. Keep on trucking. In at number one, the gold medal winner, the Ballon d'Or of boxing, media, YouTubing, whatever you want to call it. Helmet of the... I forgot because I've got short-term memory loss. Helmet of the month. <laughs> I forgot who it was, huh? Nah. Helmet of the month is... Oh, there you go. Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder. Helmet of the month for that outfit that you had on and the excuses about it. You've had loads of you've had loads of votes in, probably off Stig and all his seventy accounts from the Fury Power Fury Power group. The Fury Power group were out in numbers voting Deontay Wilder. Just trying to cause me problems, aren't they? Because it's Richard Towers' close friend. And like I said, we do it by book with helmets. I even got votes myself this month for helmets. How's about that? How's about that one? Oh, Porky getting votes. And that's, you've got it, it was for this, wearing this weapon, wearing this weapon tracksuit, 
So, what can you do? Treat the love of her life. It's just the weaponness of it. So that's about it, really. I'm afraid. So that's about it for helmets. Uh, helmets of the month. Porky's Corner for 2020. Let's just read the top 15 out from beginning back to back before we throw names at sponsors out because I've got to get off. 15 place Dominic Ingle Flex. 14th Coogie Bear Coogan Cassius. 13 Steve Wood 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 of Steve Wood. 12. Andrew Bullcroft, but he uses the name Steffi Bull, but his name's Andrew Bullcroft. Number 11, Rob Tebbett, you rimmer. Number 10, Gareth Davis, you rimmer. Number 8, Joshua, you big dosser. Number 7, Dillian White. Number 6, Frank Smith at Matchroom, Eddie's T Boy. Number 5, Eddie Hearn, slick. Number 4, David Costcutter Hay. Number 3, Mr. Bean, Adam Smith. Number 2, Big John Fury. And number one, Deontay Byler, the Bronze Bomber. So that's it. Peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. It's a fantastic sport. And it's uh, it's one that I'd be lost without. I would now anyway after today's meeting. So it's all good. Porky's Corner's here to stay. So get ready. All you haters. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. You better get ready massive things are happening I can't believe it I am so poxy it is unbelievable but nobody should begrudge me this after 28 months 28 months I've had no no savings have gone down cars cars all cars I had have gone down now nobody, nobody else has done that are they I'm not like Coogan where he's got Eddie Earn as a safety net I'm my own safety net all right so peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. Look at that, I got it in one take, under 30 minutes, so peace out. Um.